Yo, what's going on guys? It's Alpha Plays here. Today I'm going to be reviewing this capture card I got off of Amazon. 1080p, 60fps. We're going to put everything to the test right now. So this is just me unboxing it really quick. In this video, I'm going to test it strictly on Nintendo Switch. So I cannot say it's going to work for any other console. But that's what I'm going to test it for today. So throughout this video, I'm going to have segments if you want to skip to whatever part you want to. The build is actually made out of aluminum. In the box, you get your capture card, USB 3.0 cable, and your manual. It does not come with any HDMI cables, so you will have to get those on your own. After my testing on the Nintendo Switch, it is 1080p 60fps, so they're not lying about that. It does support 4K 60fps input, but it's not going to support it at the output. So basically, you're not going to be able to record at 4K 60fps, but you will be able to play at it. The device is plug and play. OBS did automatically recognize it, but I did have some issues with it actually showing up the screen on OBS, which I just had to restart OBS in my computer, then it started to work does also have a microphone and headphone jack that you could use for your sound. So that's basically the unboxing and the specs. We're going to get into the setup now. To set this thing up, it's going to be pretty simple. First, you're going to want to connect your USB to the back of your computer if you have a desktop or if your laptop, I guess just put it in your laptop. If you put it in the front ports, it does not generate enough power to actually output video capture. And make sure you put it into a USB 3.0 port on your PC. Next, you have your HDMI cable. So with your input, you're going to want to plug this into your console. So I'm going to plug it right into here. For your output, this is going to be what's going out to your monitor or TV. So with the output, you need a different HDMI cable, plug that into the output, and then put that other end of the HDMI cable into your monitor. And finally, for your sound, you're going to want to plug in your headphones into the headphone jack. You can also plug in your microphone, but it's not necessary for your commentary because in OBS, you can set it up like I do, where it's connected to my computer. So guys, if you're setting up for the Nintendo Switch like I am, all you really got to do at this point now is plug in your power source, then connect that to the Nintendo Switch dock like you would usually do. Now, the only thing left to do, guys, is put the Nintendo Switch into the dock and the screen should turn on. Now that we finished our setup, we can finally get to the OBS setup. All right, guys, so let's get started on the OBS setup. So first thing we're going to want to do is add a new scene. I'll call this scene capture. Then hit OK. So you don't actually see anything right now because I actually do have to add a display capture source really quick just so you can actually see what I'm doing. So when you're actually doing this, don't don't add what I just did. Forget about this. I'm also gonna add my camera really quickly so you can see me. All right guys, so let me just minimize myself here. I wanna make this very clear that these two sources do not add when you're actually doing your OBS. I'm only adding this so you can actually see me. So forget about these two sources when you're actually setting it up. This is what you gotta do. You wanna add a source and go down to video capture device. Hit okay. Now you're going to want to change your device here to USB video. This is our device here and let's leave everything. Hit OK. All right, guys. So at this point, you should be able to see your game. If I move this up, as you can see, you see the game. Now we just got to figure out the audio. So the audio is quite simple. You're just going to, want to add another source. Go to audio input capture. You can name this if you want. It doesn't really matter. And we're going to set the device to digital audio interface. Hit OK. So now as you can see in our audio mixer, we have something called audio input capture. This is what we want. Now I'm going to show you what you should see right now, which is this. So now that's basically the OBS setup. So let's see if it works. Okay, as you can see, we have the sound and we also have the video. And right, but here's the thing. I can really notice that it's extremely loud. So all you got to do is bring this down a little bit. So guys, if you want to add your camera and your microphone, I just got rid of my camera right now so I can show you. You're going to hit the plus video capture device. I'm just going to name the camera. Okay. And hit the device USB live cam. Well, for me, that's what it's called. Whatever your camera is called. And that's basically it. I'm going to leave everything in device default. Okay. And there's my camera. Now to add your microphone, go to add audio input. I'm going to call it mic. Okay. And change your device to whatever your microphone is called. For me, it is microphone blue snowball. That's how you set everything up, guys. So, guys. Your sources should actually look like this. So you have your camera at the top, video capture device, which is of course the capture card, audio input, which is your sound, and your microphone below that. Now we're gonna test a few games. The purpose of the video, I'm gonna minimize this, uh, just so I could kind of show you guys something. This guy just wanna show you what's actually going on. So on the bottom, you can see your CPU usage and your FPS. So as you see, we are at 60 FPS. So let's let's go into the game and see if it actually stays that way. You know, I ain't, I ain't playing too serious right now, so, you know, my drifts might be a little off, but no. All right, let's go. It looks like it is 1080p. It probably looks pretty good. I'm showing you guys it like this way, just so 
You can see the FPS on the bottom. Let's see what happens. Let's see if it goes below 60. Staying at 60. CPU 5.6. That's all good. Kind of already see. Yeah, we're, look, we're looking at 60 FPS always. That's nice. Quality looks pretty good. I mean, guys, considering the price you pay, instead of getting an Elgato, like, it's pretty good. After all this, I am going to check the temperature. All right, boys, final test. I just recorded, like, a bunch with it, like, maybe an hour, hour and a half. Let's see. Let's see what it's looking like. 98, 99. Okay. If I feel it here, it, it just feels a little warm. I don't notice any latency when playing the game or nothing. It seems really smooth. I'm now going to show you the three games I picked for this, which is basically the only three games I have. Uh, the three games I picked for this, Smash, Mario Kart, and Super Mario Maker 2. Let's get straight into it, man. I clutched it, it's alright. I don't know if the time is like just the right, but... Right, this isn't that hard. <laughs> Supposed to slide? Okay. I think it's a really good capture card for recording and starting off your YouTube channel, which is what I'm using it for. I'm gonna do content on the Switch and stuff like that. And on Amazon, you can get this thing for 33 bucks and even less because I found this video here and he actually has a code that gives you 50% off. So I actually got this thing for 14 bucks with tax, which is just a really good deal. So just wanna mention that for you guys. I give all credit to him for giving me that code, man. That's my G right there. So thank you guys so much for watching the video. I'll leave his video in the description if you wanna check out his review as well. So guys, what's my conclusion? What's the pros and the cons? Pros and cons, I do have some minor things that really kind of annoy me. Uh, the, the cable is one thing, it's super short. This is must, this must be like a two inch cable. Like, I, I don't know, bro, the, the cable is super short. So that, that's like my main thing about it, all right? You could of course just get a longer USB 3.0 cable. That's the best solution for that problem. And that's probably my biggest con with this whole thing. Next thing is the setup could be a little complicated, especially if you don't know really how to use OBS. I try to explain it the best I could. Sometimes your OBS will crash when setting it up. That's what happened to me. But after that, it seems like it's pretty good when you're actually recording. It's only sometimes doing the initial setup. But after you restart OBS, it should be good. Everything seems pretty good. And you gotta take into account the price that you're paying for this product is, what even is that? 30 bucks compared to, what is that now, Gato, 200? It's a, almost like seven times less the price. Like, I mean, crazy. I bet a bunch of research on capture cards. So all of them had something with it. And this one had really good, really good reviews on Amazon, better than the other one. So might as well give it a shot. And of course with the 50%, I mean, I paid 14 bucks. Like, I mean, it was 60% because it was a 10% coupon. I think that's gone now. I'm not too sure, but it's still 50%. Yeah, man, I'm really, really happy with the product so far. I will do an update review if something bad does happen to the product. 100% recommend if you're starting off your YouTube channel to start and you want to record some gameplay. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments down below. And uh, let me know if you got the product. Let me know if you like the product. If you have any problems, let me know. I'll try to help you out on them. Peace.